one of the most scenic cities on the planet, is set to play host to the next chapter of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship. Welcome to the 2023 Cape Town E Prix. Fifth round of the championship. All five lights are on. And we go green in Cape Town. Sasha Fenestrau is getting a reasonable getaway, and it's a really good start from Cassidy. Nick Cassidy in the green in vision. Gunter sends it to the outside in the blue Maserati MSG. Can he get that stopped? They're still side by side. The fight's on for second place as they come into the left-hander now of turn two. Cassidy's on the inside. This is a really quick left-hand turn, and Gunter gets it. Max Gunter manages to recover, get back up into second place. Cassidy then third. Fourth is Mitch Evans. He was quite aggressive trying to cover off jean eric Verne in the early stages. Oh, and there's a hit. And that's Buemi. He's been hit from the Porsche. Is that uh, Verline? It's Verline. Championship leader Pascal Verline careers into the back of Sebastian Buemi. There goes Gunter through attack mode. Does he get back in front? Cassidy gets into the lead. And they're side by side. Gunter and Fenestras coming down into turn one. Fenestras was on the dirty stuff. And Gunter holds on. Fenestras, who felt like he was in the hunt for the race win. I mean, he's not out of it, to be honest with you. He's, he's right there, and he can see the race leader. But it's so, so tight up at the front with Da Costa, because he knows he needs to get a gap, oh. and he's looking to the inside, oh, coming into turn move. eight. Da Costa, he has he it? managed to pull it off? He did. Yes. Unbelievable. Wow. An outrageous overtake from Antonio Felix Da Costa. move of the weekend. Unbelievable. As we enter the closing stages of this fascinating Cape Town, Ypres, does Da Costa go for it this time? Yeah. Okay, da Costa check, goes through attack mode, sure and jean eric Verne takes the lead of the Ypres. Two laps to go, you will make it, is the message to jean eric Verne, but Da Costa's looking for it. Da Costa wants this, he's not settling, is he? We saw two weeks ago jean eric Verne was able to defend so well, but Da Costa's got a great run off turn seven onto Beach Road. Is he going to go for it again into eight? Weaving all over the back. He's oh, going for it. Oh, this is cutting out end well. He's done it. Oh, my God. What? Antonio Felix da Costa with a farcical move for the lead of the Cape Town e -Prix. The man's on a mission. Unbelievable. He deserves, if he wins this race, he absolutely deserves that. Antonio Incredible. Felix da Costa hits the front for Tago and Porsche. Vern down to second. Fenestrau still running in third. But look at this from the Portuguese. There's no room, but he just sends it that round the outside. That was 10 out of 10 risk. 10 out of 10, there's but it paid off. There's contact as they come back on at eight. This is wild. Oh, oh my God. That's just insane. It's not going to be back-to-back -back wins. It's going to be Antonio Felix da Costa into turn 12 through the final corner. Da Costa wins for Porsche for the first time on the streets of Cape Town. Unbelievable drive from the season six champion. Nick Cassidy finishes in third. I think it's a first. I don't have a lot to say. Uh, a lot of weight, a lot of weight on my shoulders, but yeah, just thanks to the ones that stick up to me and help me get here. It's been a journey. Yeah. Yeah, feels nice. Fastest lap of the race going to jean eric Verne. Let's begin the celebration. Our winner from Tag Wire Porsche Formula E team is Antonio Felix da Costa! His eighth victory in the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship, and it's and Antonio now, Felix da Costa. It's time to celebrate and toast with Moet. Tough year last year for da Costa. A tough start to his life at Porsche, overshadowed by Pascal Verline in the first few races of the season. But as he would say, the DAC is back. Great victory for da Costa, finishing just three tenths of a second ahead of Jean-Eric Verne. Cassidy in third. Sounds like there was a bit of contact between him and Fenestras that knocked Fenestras out of the points. Rene Rast in fourth for the Neon McLaren team. Buemi fifth after being obliterated by Pascal Verline on the opening lap. Tictum, Van Dorn, Nato, Lotter and Hughes, the rest of the top 10. 
Pascal Verlein takes the win of the championship. 80 points for the Tag Heuer Porsche driver. 18 clear of Jake Dennis. jean eric Fern in third. De Costa fourth. Fifth for Cassidy. Sixth for Buemi. Ras for seventh. Bird, Hughes and Lucas Degrassi. The rest of the top ten.